Hi, this video is the Art of Hair Transplant Restoration Surgery and uh, this client has a frontal receding hairline corner and our goal is to uh, rebuild the frontal hairline um, and it's a quite good class 3 hair loss pattern uh, we have attempted around two, at least 2,000 grafts and uh, work our way to build the front half uh, especially hairline is an art form we require a lot of the artistic and aesthetic detail to ensure very natural result from the eyebrow to the hairline, mid eyebrow to the hairline for Asian and, and black around six and a half to seven. For Caucasian is around seven and a half to eight and a half. And of the ethnicity somewhere around. Uh, we use the average ethnic hairline height as a guide, but really when you build the hairline, you build according to each individual facial structure. Uh, as long as it's proportional, a third and a third and a third. And uh, so for this client, each client has his own unique hairline. It's around seven centimeters. And you go mid eyebrow to the hairline. It's around seven centimeters. So that's where it is. And then the more narrow the face, the more arch back the hairline. The more round the face, the more flat the hairline is. The average the median line is is really uh, an average, but really there's no line. It's just an imaginary line. So we dance zigzag up and down, so there's no line. Once we get the shape down, we try and find that at 35, 45 in the front. Increases when you go backward and changes when you go different direction. And then not only the precise angle is important, the selection hair grafting point. We try and find rows and rows, single hair graft in the front, followed by regular two hair, three hair, four hair in the back for broken volume. The front is for softness and naturalness. And then the back is volume and density, so that's why we use larger roots in the back. If we try to plant larger roots in the front, it will have, it looks too harsh. And uh, we'll be doing the FUE method. As you know, FUE is the most advanced technology available and the least invasive of the two. Versus the strip method, the strip method will leave you a permanent linear scar, where the FUE leave you tiny dots of scar, allow you to wear your hair shorter. FUE is not less invasive, less bleeding, less chance of infection, no numbness. Uh, scalp any tightness because this if you leave the scalp intact uh, but the downside if you it costs more and the number of graphs we can do is smaller in a case like this one 2,500 is an excellent candidate for it so this is the art of hair transplant by the FUE method of doing around 2,000 graphs I uh, can't wait for him to be here next year when we film him again because his face gonna completely change <laughs> he will look much younger uh, and he can spike up his hair. So, thank you.